Joining us now, Professor Kamakoti, the director of IIT Madras. Professor, thank you very much for your time. Hello, to begin with, the impact of artificial intelligence on jobs amid worry that it could take away many jobs. Uh, absolutely. Thank you, Sam, for uh, this question first. I think AI is not going to take away jobs. AI is going to upskill people, move people who are already doing some mundane jobs mm -hmm. and make them do something much more interesting. And this is the way things are going. So, and people who are in existing job will now get an augmented type of a job with which AI data science will be part of it. So I strongly suggest that all working professionals, whenever they find time, uh, can go ahead and do some data science and be, be ready to take up this new augmentation. Amid chat GPT and robotics, what is artificial intelligence capable of and what isn't? Uh, artificial intelligence is today capable of trying to learn from past examples and predict in the new. Art, it, it is capable, it can be used as an aid, not as a final solution. Mm. Whenever the risk is very high, it is just an aid. Whenever the risk is low, it can be used for even the prediction. For example, today we say that can be rain. If it doesn't rain, I don't go to the court and sue somebody. Okay, but. The same thing cannot be taken for a disease, right? So AI today will be a very good tool for uh, for making decisions where the risk of misprediction is less. Is there a thumb rule like uh, areas where you need human interaction, much human interaction? There AI cannot uh, in do much of a inroad? Uh, so this thumb rule is evolving. Today, uh, everywhere today, we are now setting up centers for responsible AI. And that's what we are also trying to do. What is responsibility in AI? What is accountability in AI? Uh, so these are questions that are going to come up now. And I'm sure the outcome of the centers of responsible AI is going to give us the thumb rule of what can be done with AI and what cannot be done with AI. Elon Musk asking uh, everything to be put on hold. Uh, yes, yeah. in some sense uh, <laughs> he makes sense. But uh, one of the things is uh, uh, there's nothing wrong that we start working on the models. We must have solutions. Where does India stand in the overall artificial intelligence space? We are globally. Uh, globally, we are standing at a very high uh, pedestal today because we are the generators of data, right? The, we have 140 crores and uh, 100, 100 uh, crore uh, mobile users. So, and we have uh, diversity in terms of climatic condition, food habits, even the type of diseases that we get. I think. That is where India is going to play a very, very important role. And people will collaborate with us, will look at us for data. And I think that is, that is we are poised for a very interesting era. Chennai with Edwin, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.